I'd love to tell you about one of the favorite tools I have for helping people make great decisions. And this tool is called the Pre-Mortem and it helps you think further ahead about what might go wrong. And I find it a great tool, so let me show it to you. I've got a template here to guide you through how to get a group of people to do a pre-mortem with you, and you can download it using the link in the top right. Now, the pre-mortem from Gary Klein says this. It says, imagine that you're about to launch a product. Say you've got a go-to-market in May for a new product launch, and everyone's kind of thought, yep, this is the right strategy, let's go. What you do is say, before we get going, let's just imagine it's the end of the year and we're having another meeting again, it's December, and the launch has been a disaster. Can everyone please write down on their own for a couple of minutes all the reasons why it might have been a disaster? And the pre-mortem allows our brains to fill in the gaps in that story by looking backwards from the end of December and imagining why might it have gone wrong. And it's, uh, it's shown to surface 30% more real risks. So people will say, there's another pandemic. Um, our competitors launched something new. And they come up with things you wouldn't necessarily have thought of if you just said, here's our plan, what are the risks? I mean, it's proven to come up with more risks. And the steps are in, in the template for you. But essentially, part of it is that you do do it on your own first. So you, you gather a group of people around, whether it's online or in person, and you get them to write in their reasons for the first couple of minutes. And then you get them to share them around and you write them all down. And then the problem owner will say, you know what, um, there's a couple there that are actually really interesting that we hadn't thought of. Let's change the plan to account for that small risk. And so what happens is 90% of the time people walk out having done a pre-mortem feeling more confident because they, you know, they, they, they had six people think of all the things that go wrong and the plan accounts for all of the vaguely possible ones. Okay, so they end up feeling more confident and it's actually really nice to allow everyone to be what you call black hat for a bit, right? People get good energy from it. In about 10% of the time, you might say, oh, that's actually a really fantastic point. We need to rethink our plan quite a lot. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, you're gonna be really glad you thought of it then rather than three or four months time. So that's the pre-mortem and the whole thing can take as little as 15, maybe 30 minutes at a max to get a bunch of people around it and surface the collective intelligence of that group. So download it, keep it somewhere, and next time you're about to press go on a project, run a pre-mortem. You can also read about it in the Harvard Business Review, the original article where Gary Klein talked about it. Thank you.